My name is Alan Aquino. I went to the University of Pennsylvania where I studied computer engineering and Japanese studies. And I was part of KCGS 27 from 2015 to 2016. So I actually only started studying Japanese as a junior in college. Uh, I decided at the time I was getting a little bit burned out from my studies in computer engineering and I wanted to really step away from everything for a little bit. Um, up until that point, I'd studied, you know, a couple of programming languages, uh, some electrical hardware as well. But I decided that I wanted to leave university and also have a foreign language under my belt. So that was when I decided to start taking Japanese and there was just something about it that really clicked. And the more I studied it, actually, the more time I wanted to put into it, more into my engineering major, even. Uh, as luck would have it, my teacher at the time was from Kyoto. So I started picking up all of this Japanese knowledge and hearing all these stories from her about what it was like to grow up there. And the more I heard about it, the more I you know, felt myself getting you know, more fluent, more comfortable with the language, I seriously started considering studying abroad. And so when I was looking at um, the bulletin board at our Japanese department, the KCGS flyer was the first one that I saw. And the more that I read about it, the more that it seemed like the right thing for me. Um, I think what really appealed to me about the program, despite being um, a STEM major myself, is um, you know the chance to engage in intensive language study, uh, the immersive elective coursework, and then also the chance to live in a homestay uh, for a year. So honestly, um, the time away from my original course of study, I think it really helped me out in the long run. Um, it helped me really to achieve, I think, uh, a better balance of things. Um, I ended up actually declaring a Japanese major too in order to take a lot of um, the KCGS coursework back with me. And that's how I was able to finish my second major on time as well. And then in the grand scheme of things, I think that having that kind of weird and unique mix of engineering and Japanese, it really helped me to land the job where I am now at a major Japanese company. Mm -hmm.